So does that mean from the businesses, like if I saw someone drop money, I would want to give it back because that feels good to me, like if they drop their wallet. But from a business, like if I go shopping and they just don't charge me for that, I don't focus on them. That's their own thing. So I think about me, oh, wow, abundance. Is that good because I'm just purely thinking of me and it is great, but from the actual business, the hotel that didn't charge me the surcharges, that's... They've attracted that to themselves? Well, isn't you, it? you can find your own way in that, and we're not going to guide you into the specifics, but we do want to give you some general things that will help you to find your footing there. There are all kinds of laws and rules that are of a physical nature, most of which have been put in place from a lackful point of view, from a, we need to guard against this and we need to guard against this. The non-physical energies assisting you are not taking into consideration any of those resistant laws. They're just looking for the path of least resistance in order to get you to where you want to be. The most important thing that we want to say to all of you, but expressly to you here and now, is that you are an uplifter to the very core of your being. And you want well-being for everyone. There is not a finite pie that is being split up amongst you and if you get a bigger piece someone else is going to be deprived a share this abundance is flowing in accordance to the vibrational allowance that any of you are establishing and so what happens is if more people were in that state of abundance the economy would expand in order to provide the abundance it is not being held back because somebody's getting more than their fair share and so you cannot take from someone else the laws of the universe will not allow that distortion now we know that causes some confusion because people say well I could move around and I could snatch wallets and I could take things from other people that doesn't belong to me and we are saying but you could not do that in a vibration of allowance and we promise you that the non-physical energies who are assisting you are not helping you take from someone in order to provide for yourself the non-physical energies who are assisting you are wanting you to understand and are knowing completely that there is a never-ending stream of abundance that is flowing to you so don't get too specifically hung up in any of that however if we were standing in your physical shoes we would say things on a regular basis such as I really like things that are fair and I really like things that are balanced and I really want all people to thrive and I want to receive whatever I can allow to come to me and I wish the same for all other people and I believe that there is enough abundance for all and I do not believe that my receiving will deprive anyone else of receiving in other words just keep reminding yourself that that abundance stream is a very broad very bold very powerful very chronic never ending stream you see and when you figure out how to tap into it, balance of finances is about money in and money out. Alignment of energies is about energy in, energy out. And you just can't not wish well for someone and receive energy in. In other words, the more well-wishing you are of others, the more energy flows into you. The more abundant you feel, the more abundance you flow, the more abundance flows to you. You want to see someone really pinching off the purse strings to abundance, look for those really stingy people. In other words, people who are worried about every dollar that they spend are those who have their valve shut down very closely, you see. And so you just find your comfortable place. We would not, and you're discovering this already, when you speak details to almost anyone, you're going to express something that's going to be offensive to someone because everyone is living by a set of opinions or rules that they've picked up along their physical trail. And most people are clubbing themselves about the head and neck pretty severely with those rules that they've picked up along their physical trail. And if you express something to them that they don't agree with, they'll club you a little bit too, you see. And so that's why we're encouraging you to express your abundance through your smile and through your vitality and through your energy and through your joyful behavior, through your joyful expression. And don't try to get too specific about how things are coming to you because the path of least resistance for you is different than the path of least resistance for someone else, which leads us to the most important answer, the most important part of the question that you've been asking, and that is 
You just can't teach someone the specifics of how to become abundant. You've got to go to the basics of the laws of the universe and you've got to be really general about it and then demonstrate through the clarity of your example. But those who are close to you, who get to know you really well, they'll notice that all kinds of things are happening to you in lots of different ways, but they will begin to notice consistent pattern in your behavior. And those consistent patterns are you care about others and you care about yourself. Those consistent patterns are that you look for reasons to feel good and find them. Those consistent patterns are you take care of the way you feel first. Those consistent patterns are you don't get into conversations that make you feel defensive ever. You don't get into conversations that make you feel defensive because when you get into that place where you're defending something because you've gotten too specific with another person and you've somehow offended their sense of justice or balance or right or wrong, then in your defensiveness you lose your connection and now you're just two people or more out there on the raw and ragged edge just sort of banging it out in your mediocre attraction sort of in competition for the resources because you've all cut yourself off from the real stream of abundance that's waiting for you in your joy and bliss. Best discussion we've ever had about economics. You're the best. Thank you so much. Yeah.